I have decided I will dedicate another video to the politics, which it just covers my blog in respect to other issues that I have to finish. It's a pain in the butt. It's a time wasting, energy wasting, zero return, whatever you want to call this. Um, in a certain sense, even counterproductive. This time I am going to dedicate the video to Donald Trump, to Joe Biden, to Barack Obama, uh, and more than to anybody, I will dedicate the video to New Europe, if you want. This is the video that I'd like to discuss how things got as far as they did. Not only as far as the war in Europe, Ukraine, but globally. What actually have happened? What actually is happening? I was hoping I would not do this video. Um, but since this subject also was talking about Donald Trump, who suggested he would even assist Russia in war against NATO member states, which do not meet their quotas, defense quotas, NATO defense quotas. Uh, in a war against them. Foremost, the first thing I'd like to state is that Donald Trump wanted to skip something. Donald Trump would like to have the history rewritten with a bizarre statement. As these are the issues that we will have to gripple here in Europe for a very long time to come. Uh, these are the issues that hunted us before the World War II. It's what actually made World War II, and it's also what made World War I. That's why I have decided that I will go and I will discuss this issue, since Donald Trump was really trying to just neglect U.S. policy in respect to Europe For at least, I'm going to say, this stuff went on for at least, at least last. This stuff went on probably for the last 50 years. And it was just systematic, gradual destabilization of the European continent with complete removal of American troops which served the purpose to secure continent stability after the World War II from Germany likewise it happened with the British troops that were stationed in Germany French troops uh, they basically have unleashed the issues that created the World War I and the World War II. That's why I wouldn't waste no time. I wouldn't want to waste time on the politic anymore because it's, it's a porn, basically. They, they manufactured the news, the, the stuff like on, like on kilos, basically. Uh, it was, it was not interesting. But... What makes me video record this video is exactly what I stated. 
because history repeats. And I don't know how much this history can be still reversed, modified, the present history. But we have a problem here in Europe, which is going to lead again into the identical situation to the one we have had prior to the World War II. World War II. We are just basically entering the same issue as to what we have witnessed almost identically prior to the World War II. We are right there, basically the time when Germany was searching for its allies. Yes, Rim, Berlin, Tokyo, allies. Rim, Italy, Berlin, Germany, Tokyo, Japan, allies against uh, what people refer to as the axis of the evil against the rest of the world with the type of warfare we are dealing with today in Europe it's identical it's you would have prior to the World War II you would have Europe completely divided you would have uh, Bulgaria let's say joining this axis you would have romania joining this axis you would have hungary joining this axis uh you would have several countries joining hands that nobody talks about but they started to take sides partake in something that they really shouldn't that's really stupid As people are not as educated as are today, and I'm not attributing the education to not even what is general education. Uh, however, people are educated these days in respect to internet because you have the internet and you can go and you can you can verify information and you can you can do some investigative work and you can you can inform yourself based on your own view of this world, you get an idea whether things are heading to the right location, direction or not, basically, you know, in that sense is what I mean, educated. Uh, I've come to conclusion that uh, and Donald Trump was one of the people that had under his presidency no less than 12,000 American troops removed from Germany. You are, I'm sure, aware of that, that during Donald Trump's presidency, he signed decree uh, for 12,000 additional American troops to be removed from Germany, thus setting a perfect ground for the one we have witnessed prior to the World War II. And boom, then you have Russia attacking Ukraine, uh, needless to say that whether you wanted to take side or you didn't want to take side, whether you even sided with the Russians, like many politicians did, because of the corruption, because of petroleum, uh, gas, natural resources, minerals. Um, even after 2014, the situation was still... Um, not definite, you know, nobody really knew what, how things are going to really turn and uh, what exactly is going to happen, right? But, you know, with, with, uh, with the attack, with the Russian extermination procedure in 2022 against Ukrainian people, It's really, actually, it's really cynical. I mean, it's, it's, I find it extremely cynical. I, this is like um, incredibly, incredibly insane shit because Ukrainian people uh, populated parts of Russia, uh, participated in this Russian creation. Uh, they were exterminated in the past. That's the only indicator by the Russians uh, through the famine 
Holodomor for the last century was taking place against them. But the chances that you would have Russians attack Ukrainian and uh, so viciously would literally exterminate people, wipe the people off the earth so that you could populate your own Russian people. <sighs> no. <laughs> I, I, uh, let's put it this way, not even I have uh, anticipated something like this could be possibly done. I'm looking at you very seriously now because it's like very serious issue. This is like border retarded, borderline retarded issue. This is indifferent from the one in the World War II, is what I'm trying to say. This is not according to the policy of the world which one have taken after the World War II. It's fucking unexplained. Unimaginable that you would have in modern times country going and ethnically, ethnically exterminate members of certain society. And when, when you claim that they are the same, they have the same genetics, the same DNA as you have, that's a bit more or less likely, basically. If you understand me, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Uh, so what Donald Trump had to do with it, Donald Trump had to do with it exactly the same as to what other uh, American presidents prior and after Donald Trump had to do with it. None of these people cared about returning, uh, fulfilling its legacy as American president to American foreign policy concerning Europe. None. Not a Jimmy Carter hat. Not Ronald Reagan. I would even go to George Bush. The closest maybe as it comes. That would have something to do maybe with a Barack Obama. Maybe he was the one who... Uh, had that type of policy that he would keep American troops in Germany. However, his policy was racist, discriminatory policy, a uh, policy which was widely rejected throughout the European continent and actually even given grounds for this type of warfare to flourish, basically, for tensions to grow, for Racism awakening itself, because, yeah, the next one was Donald Trump that came. But in the background of it all, it had a lot to do with Joe Biden. Still, nobody is talking about what I stated earlier, is fulfilling your presidential legacy accordingly with what the United States of America have pledged after the World War II. Are we correct about that? Absolutely. On dime. You can't prove me wrong about that. Did you realize that the United States of America have systematically removed all the troops from the European continent and left Germany basically as a country without any criminal history, without absolutely like any national concern that one possibly could? present as a security threat to the rest of the Europe, despite burning European continent on two occasions. Here I hear the voices right now. Boop. I hear the Germans right now. Boop. They brainwashed during MK Ultra. All these topics were all involved in MK Ultra. They are going to decide what is more convenient for us. Is it Germany or is it Ukraine? Well I have decided that the best would be that you don't fucking decide about absolutely anything, you know?
because you burned European continent already on two occasions. And you are burning the continent already for the third occasion. It's already the third time the Europe is bleeding because of the Germany. The third fucking time the Europe is bleeding because of the Germany. Now, we have Germans on two sides of the ocean. We have Bushes, we have Donald Trumps, we have others that are of other origins that are participating in this big German politic. And it is taking us again on the same picture. We are identical picture as to the one we have witnessed during the World War II. So I suggest American politics to sober up, to wake the fuck up, and serve the purpose to the taxpayer, to American taxpayer, before the things are going to get even into the worse wrong direction. Such attempts as for the U.S. Congress undermining the budget, defense budget for the Ukraine, uh, while literally releasing, unleashing German ability to control the continent through, without even fulfilling its obligations. Oh, yeah, Abba, we will, no worry, we will finance uh, defense of Ukraine. But uh, this is not the point. This is not the point because it doesn't concern only Ukraine, but it concerns every European country. It doesn't concern only Ukraine. It concerns France, Britain, Sweden, Poland, Czech Republic, Romania, all the countries in Europe, all the countries that suffered 27 million deaths. 80 years ago, entire continent was burned to the ground. It concerns everybody. But what this kind of policy that we see this American presidents doing their job their shit job, a Congress people doing their shit job is actually taking a whole Europe, which means the world security to that dog. So I call upon the United Nations to ask also some questions, the U.S. Congress, American government, in respect to European security. Because the one on the this concerning Israel is even worse. That will be basically witness that total extermination, which not even Adolf Hitler managed to accomplish with 85% residential buildings, homes destroyed, annihilated by the Jewish Israeli state. And with over 30,000 deaths already, it's probably doubled more probably really what the numbers of dead people, what's actually happening in Gaza is unprecedented. With American President Joe Biden, instead doing this kind of stuff, I heard, I heard the man joined to the TikTok, and he posted the first video warning about Mama Kelsey. I don't think that as an American president. You should be doing this kind of stuff when the world is actually on fire. I think it's borderline retarded. I think it's dangerous. I think Joe Biden is national, global security threat. He's not demented. He's just corrupt and criminal to the bone. You're live with BBC News. Now, President Biden has garnered over six. 67,000 TikTok followers in the first 24 hours since his campaign decided to join the app. His arrival comes despite the data security issues surrounding the Chinese-owned company. The U.S. has stayed away from TikTok because of privacy and national security concerns related to the app's owner, Chinese company ByteDance. President Biden was answering questions on the Super Bowl in a brief video. Let's take a look. Chiefs or Niners? Two great quarterbacks. Hard to decide. But if I didn't say... I was for the Eagles, and I'd be sleeping alone. My wife's a Philly girl. Game or commercials? Game. Game or halftime show? Game. Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey? Mama Kelsey. I understand she makes great chocolate chip cookies. Deviously. 
Well, Jack Lobel is National Press Secretary of Voters of Tomorrow, a non-partisan coalition that engages and represents young Americans in politics and government. He gave me his reaction. Expand his audience and allow him to communicate. He was looking for the children like this to involve in the politic. This kid was involved in a politic. I hope never ever a politician like this, a kid, a child, it was a child, they were grooming, they're grooming the children into lunacy. This is not a politic, this is a lunacy, this is a fucking lunacy. This is how the world lost its ground. It's a, it was, it's flourishing with the MK Ultra crime throughout the United States of America. The United States of America lost its moral compass, does not have a moral compass, and does not fulfill basic requirements which world have decided. United States of America would take lead in after the World War II. I find this incredible. I find this incredibly incredible. I find it incredible that Donald Trump uh, is provoking actually the world into You know, folks, this is not about American presidency. Do you understand that, that uh, the stuff that we witness is not about American presidency? American presidency is a little, a little dot in the whole picture. This is just a little, in Slovenian language, we say sestavljanka. This is just a little piece of the puzzle. But the whole picture, when you, when you take... When you take the whole picture in consideration, when you consider the whole picture, where the whole picture is taken to, it's actually fucking horrific. It's actually horrible. Uh, for the statement like this, naturally, after the World War II, if you would issue a statement like this, you would get handcuffed. You would get your handcuffs, you would be taken to the jail, and you would be charged with the various charges including those as to inciting in the war and so on. He's an American president. This is not a regular citizen. This is not a regular American citizen. He's got... Uh, he was elected, whichever way, he was appointed as American president and bears, apparently bears no accountability for his actions. He's completely irresponsible. He does not. He issues a statements that uh, that matches these numbers here. He did this. This is worrisome. This information is worrisome. This is a worrisome information. That's a question of war of uh, the history repeat itself was just a matter of time before it would. And it did. And it did. It was a, another piece of puzzle on a much bigger, greater picture for which we don't even know where it's going to take to. As for the Germany is creating a record number of jobs in defense industry. They shifted its 
I'm not going to say defense infrastructure into the fifth gear, but its politic in different from the one prior to the World War II into the fifth gear. For me, I have already decided about the Germany. For me, it's inconvenient to have a leader of the Europe which burnt entire European continent for two occasions and is not determined yet about which side will be more convenient to side with, to have decide about European security. Do you understand me what I'm saying? Return American troops back to the Germany and make sure that Germany is not going to repeat the horrors it did on two occasions throughout the Europe. I wasn't going to do this video. I wasn't going to get into it. I would advise Barack Obama to put the fingers away from the picture because its picture is so ugly already because of you. You screwed up the picture so much. You created such tensions. You are the cause. You are the reason why Donald Trump appeared in the first place of the picture. Before you're going to even aggravate, even create picture even worse. As an American president, you do not serve any kind of purpose. You're a garbage. You're a scammer. You're a scumbag. You're a ripoff. You're one of the people who participated. I am not going to refer to this as an MK Ultra. I'm going to refer to this as an extermination, as a genocide, as an ethnic and as a racial cleansing. In my case, you have a big problems. You should be a patient listed inside of the psychiatric hospital long time ago, just like a Michael Jackson family members. But you're not. You are selected. You are elected by exactly the people that used you as another piece of puzzle on a bigger picture. The one we have seen have caused World War II outburst. Thanks very much for watching this video. American taxpayers should pay the should pay a close attention to American foreign policy, uh, not to the goofy fucks. The goofy fucks will goofy fuck in your face every fucking day aligned to you through the internet, through the stamp, through the TV. And nobody wants to touch the topics that actually matters. Because we are almost, I'm going to say, in the middle of World War II. We are five minutes before the World War III at this point in time. Because of incompetence, because of the corruption, because of deliberate boycotting sabotage of American foreign policy, post-World War II policy.